Hi everyone, um, I've just got home after a long day of my second day on training and I am absolutely knackered. I am so, so tired. Um, hopefully I'll get my ass into gear in getting back into the working frame of mind, but I'm tired. Um, I wake up at 7 which some people think, seven, you know, that's nothing, you know, I've got friends that get up at five, so I get up at uh, seven, have a shower, get ready, leave, I have to be there by 9.30, which is not bad, but still, I'm finding it difficult, really, really difficult, and I'm just tired, and I'm glad it's the weekend. So, anyway, I've got my uh, introduction uh, training certificate. Uh, and I also have um, my badge. I think you can't really see it. See? <laughs> it's really, really good. I mean, we get the badges. I can't see it properly. I'm trying to do the reflection thing. I think you see it. Right. Oh, there you can. Okay. Um, pretty much it's done every year. They update the uh, ID badges. So... Um, I will get thinner in this picture, definitely. Use it. What else did I do? Um, I got like a little package where I've got. What have I got? Do you know what? This is the first time I'm opening this, so this is <laughs> this is so not planned. Oh, it's a key ring. It's a key ring. This is, look, anyway, I got this, I don't, I don't know what it is, it's a key ring, um, with, of course, the logo, Bluebird, and, oh, it's a light, I don't know if you can see it, <laughs> um, useful to have, because you never know if you're trying to find the keys to get into um, someone's house, you've got light, that's good. Doesn't really match my keychain with all my little diamantes, but I can work with it. Alcohol gel, hand sterilizing. I've got that. So after I take off my gloves, just put some alcohol, disinfect it. Um, gloves. It's cool. Also got that. I'm just waiting to. Um, what's it called? do a cover with someone because every company does things differently so I've got I've got to shadow uh, one of their carers and just see how they do it which just means their log books are different and certain things and it's just getting back into caring because like I said I haven't done caring in a long time but not a long time a year so just to refresh everything um, I got a fleece which looks nice I'm actually going to see if it fits me. Uh, one minute. Uh -huh. And wow, that is quite nice. So there we go, that's the work fleece. <laughs> it still doesn't look very feminine. Um, I'm having a problem with the uniform that I just feel like a big old fat lesbian or something but anyway I'm not doing it to look pretty but it does help if I look okay so yeah this is the, the fleece it's cool I'll probably keep that on actually <laughs> for the rest of the vlog I'll get into my work mode let me put the badge just put the badge like this There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, except for that for today, I'm doing okay. Oh, I went, I'm going to take this off because I'm going to get myself all hot. Um, we, my mum picked me up because parking there is a nightmare and I don't want to find, so I'll just say to my mum, pick me up. And um, 
we went to a a, a friend because she wanted um well, she didn't want my mum gave us some chairs for her dining room as we've just got some new ones and um I had some coffee. I've had a lot of coffee today. I think I shouldn't have had. It's given me a bit of a headache and yeah, just not so good. And um, I was really naughty. I ate half a muffin. I've only had my gastric bypass on the 27th of December 2011 and I'm only in my puree stage and I ate half a blueberry muffin. It was good. <laughs> I did chew. I really, I, I just chewed and chewed and lots of saliva. Really, I feel fine. I feel absolutely fine. Um, touch wood. I, um, yeah. So, I mean, I'm not going to do this every single day. You know, I'm not going to push my luck. But it was quite nice that um, I could have a, a muffin. So... I haven't weighed myself, I'm not going to weigh myself because that muffin might come and bite me on the ass. So um, I'm just going to leave my weight for, I think I'm going to do my weight in another week's time. Um, I weighed myself, was it last night? Yeah, last night and I'm still the same, I'm 21 stone 6, I haven't lost anything so I kind of hit a plateau again so um, it's not a problem so that's why I pretty much don't want to do a weigh uh, in tomorrow because I doubt very much that I've lost the five pounds that was my goal I think wasn't it in the last uh, vlog it was um, lose six pounds by the end of the week and I haven't you know I jinxed it I definitely jinxed it um one of the things I've noticed since the gastric uh, bypass, my mouth stinks. I brush my teeth twice a day and I'm not trying to be disgusting or anything like that, but it just, it smells of rotting. You know, it really is horrible. Like if I just put my finger in and I just touch my gum and I smell it, it really smells awful. Um... It's just one thing after another. If it's not this, it's that, and so on, and the list goes on and on. And I'm just like, I think I've been through enough. It would be nice if st things started to get easier, or if not, balance itself out. And like I said, I don't know why. I really don't know why I've got this horrible smell of rot, rotting. Um, it only came to me today, I thought maybe it's because of my eating, you know, because like the Atkins diet, you know, you have the smelly breath, greasy hair, you feel faintish and this and that, and I thought maybe it's due to my change in my diet, because I can brush my teeth, uh, as you can see, I haven't got, like, I'm not a skank, I haven't got dirty teeth, or I don't, you know, not brush them, I do care for my teeth, as you can see, they are white, I'll do even a close up for you, see that? I have feelings, uh -uh. I admit that, but they're, they're okay, so I don't really know why my mouth is smelling. If anyone else has this, please let me know that it is normal and once again I'm not just being weird and odd with my decaying smelly mouth. I'm so glad I'm not in a relationship <laughs> with a smelly, skanky mouth. It would not be very appealing. So, um, but yeah. Another thing I will say. I pray to God that my new boss does not see that I'm advertising the company. I'm, You know, like uh, Shane Dawson on YouTube and uh, he lost his job because he did a vlog while he was at work and um, if you mention who you work for, they'll, they'll fire you. Um, I hope this isn't the case with me um, as I'm only doing a journey uh, before and after a gastric bypass. Um, I'd hope it wouldn't affect um, my job and how I perform. Um, but yeah, so anyway, 
getting that out of the way, I, I hope they'll never see this. But um, I fancy my man, uh, my boss's son. Oh my god! Now we had a couple of girls in. One of them was late, and we were expecting this person being late. And this head came round the corner, and I thought it was just a person. So I sat there, and I really gave a really warm, friendly smile, like I do. Nothing out of the blue for me to be friendly, and. Um, he sat down and I thought, maybe it isn't a girl, maybe it's a boy. And I thought, he's very overdressed, you know, really lovely suit and everything. Anyway, a second later, the actual uh, lady who was late came in. So I thought, oh, who is that? Anyway, um, it was pretty much, um, yeah, the guy's son. So that was quite interesting. Just bear with me. Yeah, I'm on them doing it now. My mum wants me to lock away the animals. And she's saying five minutes vlog? It's actually 11 minutes eight. She knows me too well, I just ramble. Anyway, so I really liked him and I smiled at him. Anyway, so it's, it turns out to be my uh, my boss's son and I saw him today and he was on his phone and he looked at me and he went like that. I was like, oh my God. So, I'm not saying anything's gonna happen because I can assure you I'm not his type, but, I actually fancy someone. How cool is that? It's quite nice to fancy someone or have a crush. I haven't had a crush in years. So I'm enjoying this moment <laughs> of being 12 years old and thinking, you're nice. You're very nice. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have to go now because my mum's already interrupted my vlog and I have to go and feed the animals. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll keep you all up to date with my work and my gastric bypass. I'll keep you up to date with everything pretty much. Anyway, thank you. Bye.